Lynn, and welcome to the 100th anniversary of Las Vegas as presented by Chrysler's PT Cruiser. The centennial was certainly an exciting year-long celebration. Guinness World Records were broken, the Old West was recreated, and there was some incredible music to be heard. All right here at Las Vegas's 100th centennial celebration. Let's take a look. The Guinness Book of World Records made it official. At 102 feet long, Las Vegas created the world's largest birthday cake. This giant used up over 40,000 pounds of frosting. Taking 14 hours to make, the skills of over 1,000 volunteers were needed. Everybody who attended got to share in the 23 million calorie delight. You know, 130,000 pounds of cake does go a long way. Las Vegas Mayor Oscar Goodman said, our city is larger than life and we don't do anything on a small scale. This record-breaking cake was shared by the community and everybody had a piece of the centennial. was. <laughs> well, that was just one of the centennial events. Las Vegas broke the rules when it came to celebrating a birthday. And speaking of cakes, how about 100 wedding cakes? Well, that's what was needed for the next centennial event right here in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is famous for its wedding chapels, but to celebrate the 100th birthday, something really special was needed. What better way to celebrate than have 100 brides and grooms get married the same day right on Fremont Street. On June 9, 2005, 200 people took their vows at the same time in front of tens of thousands of spectators. Following tradition, there was also a huge bachelor and bachelorette party the night before. I wonder if they used the Guinness record-breaking birthday cake or if they had wedding cakes baked just for them. While Las Vegas is famous for <sighs> weddings, its past is tied deeply to the turn of the last century. To celebrate this era, Chrysler's PT Cruiser was one of the proud sponsors of Hell Dorado Days. This was one of the most popular events, complete with historical reenactments and the recreating of the Old West. So cowboys and cowgirls, grab your six-shooter and let's go! Welcome to the Old West and the Las Vegas of 100 years ago. This was a glorious time in Vegas's early history. 100 years ago, the introduction of the railroad started the land auction, which was recreated for this centennial celebration. Fremont Street transformed itself to give the visitors a sense of what it was like a century ago. Old time stores, merchandise, costumes, and even a full size train on its own tracks. The largest part of the event was the Hell Dorado Parade. Thousands of people marched, over 200 floats and entries, lots of PT cruisers, and even a large collection of Elvises for the over 100,000 bystanders. Fremont Street had never seen anything like this before. What a trip down memory lane. But it is hard to imagine Las Vegas without neon lights or gambling. Speaking of lights, Vegas Rocks was a massive free concert starring the Red Hot Chili Peppers. This band had Las Vegas rockin'. The concert, highlighted by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, was held at the Silver Bowl Sports Complex. The stage was huge. There were giant video screens and a first-class sound system. Over 50,000 people showed up at this Chrysler co-sponsored event. The evening ended with over 15 minutes of spectacular fireworks, time to Vegas theme songs. That night, Las Vegas proved to the world that it does indeed rock. Las Vegas did rock and roll that night. I love the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and the energy was electric. Now, if you thought those fireworks were impressive, you haven't seen anything yet. Las Vegas kicked off its centennial celebration on New Year's Eve 2004, and at the stroke of midnight, there were fireworks that Vegas had never seen the likes of before. Chrysler's PT Cruiser was proud to be a sponsor. The official name was the 100 Years of Neon, and the entire strip lit up from north to south.
Las Vegas celebration without fireworks, and Vegas gave us some of her best that night. People are going to be talking about that night for years to come. Well, Chrysler's PT Cruiser was delighted to have had this opportunity to show you just an overview of some of the events that took place during the year-long centennial celebration. And Chrysler's PT Cruiser was proud to have been one of the sponsors. Thanks for visiting with me, and I'll see you in 100 years.